<clears throat> Thank you. As media creators, we often struggle with the idea of media perception in the public eye. The idea that media is promoting violence, that media is shallow, or that it usually highlights the negative in our society. Um, I'm, I'll try to show you something different today. Eight years ago, I arrived to the US, and it was a perfect timing uh, in, in terms of my work. It was a time where my medium, video games and computer games, was perhaps the least understood um, and the height of the criticism uh, against the media. The, the time was the uh, release of Grand Theft Auto. It was taking the headlines all over the world, and parents were basically afraid that their kids are going to be hijacked by this terrible and terrifying thing. Um, at that time, I came to Carnegie Mellon, and together with a team of uh, colleagues, we decided to make a game about peace. And not only that we said we're going to make a video game about peace, we also said it's going to be about the Middle East conflict. So we took on one of the most complex dilemmas of today, and we tried to test the boundaries of what the media can do. So I want to show you a short video so you kind of get some more context, and then we'll come back. Peacemaker is a game in which you take the role of one of the leaders. You can take either the role of the Israeli Prime Minister or the Palestinian President. You can play both perspectives. And the idea is that as the leader, you have to react to real-time events happening in the world. You can negotiate with other leaders, but you also have security or military actions that you can take. And by doing so, you have to reach a peaceful solution while in office. In an Israeli high school, a new computer game called Peacemaker was launched today. Children playing the role of Israeli and Palestinian leaders trying to make peace in a virtual world of suicide bombings and Israeli military strikes. We don't expect to address all issues of the conflict. We don't expect to give all the answers. We're bringing up issues for discussion. I think the best aspect of playing this game is that, especially if you're Palestinian student in the territories or an Israeli student within Israel, you, you get a chance to really feel what both sides are thinking and get a better sense of what they can do together to work towards peace. If you look at the video game industry today, there are so many games out there about violence, about war, about destructions. We say a simple thing, there is certainly a place for one little game about peace. This is, when, this is when I was very young and naive. But, uh, but seriously, shall we play? Shall we play a game together? Okay. Kind of yes. Kind of. Okay. So in our convention, the chair is not going to remain empty. And I want to call on stage my fellow uh, volunteer leader, Suzanne Tick, please. Here she is. When Suzanne is not a world leader in taking decisions that is, are going to affect generations, she's the chair of the Labor, Trades, and Crafts uh, Council at FETER. And my role is a peacemaker in that, right. that fact, I have to say. Right. <laughs> um, so let's go to the screen. Let's launch the game. And what you're going to see first is something that was very important for us, which is to set, to, to make sure that the player starts with the right mindset. Yeah, before, before we get there. So the whole idea that um, we have a one minute, we went back to 1920 in terms of archive footage, and we want to say this is a game about real events. This is a game that uses real footage, and you will see kind of a one minute reflection on the conflict from 1920 till today.
So the idea is that, again, a player comes into the game, we're saying it's a peace game, but you're going to be challenged with a lot of violence. You're going to be challenged with very serious issues and events that are going to come at you. Um, Suzanne, were, were you ready for your uh, first decision? First decision is which side are you playing? And the two sides are very different. So we actually built two games, the Palestinian version and the Israeli version. Different resources, different agenda. Obviously, the Palestinian side is under occupation. Um, which side would it be? I don't know. I think we should ask the audience to decide. Oh, interesting. So you want the audience to participate. So because it was unplanned, you all have those clickers, right? So I can't make this decision. <laughs> right. So then need some help from the, the cabinet. The premonition of a, a Palestinian president? Right. A female pre Palestinian president? Can we change to the voting system? Okay, cool. So you can, you can click one, two, or three, or A, B, C uh, in, in your clicker, basically, to help Suzanne make the choice. And you see the responses numbers grow up. Wow, we have nice participation. Let's give it kind of another 10 seconds. It's awesome. Yeah. This is a really hard game to play, you guys. <laughs> I have to ask forgiveness of my son because I've told him to not play video games, and now I'm stuck on this video game at home. <laughs> so what do we have? 251 votes. OK. Oh. Interesting. We'll analyze this later. 60% <laughs> go for the Palestinian president. <laughs> Uh, let's switch back to the game, and I'll make that choice for us. Uh, I chose the Palestinian president, and I'm going to go for a tense in terms of difficulty. So that uh, dictates how many events we're going to throw at Suzanne. Um, so you enter the office, right? This is all based on real-world footage of the real office of the uh, Palestinian president real ceremony when you re accepted. Um, in terms of um, kind of learning, we added a, a quick timeline just to show you what you've seen in the video and some of the major events, really just a brief, you know, not to flood you with information. However, the first thing that you see is this red dot on the screen. So let's, let's click on it because we don't have any other, other thing here. And this is what we call the inciting incident. It's a very violent event. In this case, it's a military operation, the Israeli military operation that went out of, out of control, killed civilians, wounded others, and uh, we can watch the event. But this is basically on the first day of office, at office, this is what you are dealing with. So now we're, we're about to make decisions, but I want to just show you a bit what are we talking about in terms of the interface. One thing that we did, we, we kind of put a, a geographic context uh, of Israel and Palestine, the whole idea that you can look at, at cities. And already at this level, by the way, when you play the game with students or others, they could learn a lot just from that, something they don't get in the news. The proximity of, of cities, what, where the settlements are, where's the, where's the Israeli uh, defense, uh, security fences, um, and it's just a town. It's a town. yeah. So, so, so Gaza, and and usually when when you hear in the news about the rockets, we're talking about the road. Look right. at the proximity of an Israeli, uh, you know, Israeli city and Gaza, and in terms of. Uh, um, stakeholders, there's also the opportunity to learn about them. So we can go from some of them on your side now, on the yeah. Palestinian public, uh, Fatah, your group, Hamas, the opposition, uh, the Israeli prime minister, the Israeli public, and of course some world leaders, um, the Arab world and, uh, and the United States. Um, another thing that you can see is the context of the whole map, so to see some of the neighboring countries. And the most important thing is the score. So. Peacemaker is, is, is not a simple game, so there are two scores. And they can go positive and negative. So you have your Israeli approval, 
uh, sorry, the Palestinian approval and the world approval, and they can go in opposite directions. And one of the things you have to do is to balance them. So let's start with decisions. You have security decisions, you have diplomacy decisions, political decisions, or what we call construction strategic decisions. So let's start with choosing between those three options. Well, because we bombed them. We bombed Israel, right? No, no, it was an Israeli attack that supposedly, that killed. Okay. they say supposedly we went for militants, so but I wanna, they killed 18 civilians. So because you don't have a prayer option, I would pray first and ask for guidance. I'm wondering why that doesn't exist. Um, Do you want the guidance from them? Yeah, let's ask you all. Okay. You're, well, you're the prayer. Let's go for the voting again. So we have three choices, very high level. You're going to guide our executive branch here. Security, political, or construction strategy. Oh, we have a higher number, I think. So Kyle, what, what is the result there? Okay, Good. diplomacy. That's what I was Love and do. forgiveness. That's exactly where I was going. Okay, so, okay. so now, now Suzanne, you're taking, the, you're taking leadership here. So we did the voting, political, a few options you, you can have, okay? You can make a speech in Arabic to your own people. You can make a speech in English. And by the way, uh, one thing that they say about Arafat is always that those speeches were very, very different. And yeah. this is a fact. Speech to the world um, in English, Internal negotiations with your own faction. Israeli negotiation, you're going to the Israeli leader. It doesn't have to be, by the, by the way, appeasing him. It could be demanding. Um, for negotiation, call for independent state. This is kind of the red button. You're right. just like, you're going for it. And dealing with the holy sites. How tense do we want to be? No, I would go to, I would like to secure my people first. I'd go to, be, give me, you think I should go there? Uh, I'm, I'm you, you made this game. Okay, go there, go there. Israeli negotiation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so every menu obviously hides another one. And uh, by the way, you have advisors, so we're not going to read them now, but again, they kind of represent those two uh, opposing views. Of one is your national agenda, and the other one is like what the UN and the US would want you to do. I want to um, stop aggression. Ask them to stop aggression, right? Yes. Ready? So this is a turn. A turn in Peacemaker takes a week. So we're actually playing into the future. We're going to click on that. A week in real time, in game time, is passing by. And then we hear back from the Israeli Prime Minister. Consider request, which is... No movement. Which is a moderate response. However, like you said, the score doesn't move at all. All right, we gotta go somewhere else. All right, let's, yeah, go there. You guide me, please. <laughs> security. By the way, I mean, you're, you're probably sure that you can do many things on security, but you're very limited. You don't have tanks. You don't have airplanes. Uh, you have a police force that sometimes does what you want, sometimes doesn't. Yeah. All right. So police presence, manage police, extreme measures, Israeli forces cooperation, internal travel restrictions, or Gaza border control. How about the, how about the helmet? Okay, <laughs> let's go for Israeli forces cooperation. Um, you can initiate joint training or initiate joint patrols. No, go back, I don't like this. Okay. It's interacting, so... Okay, so go there, manage police. Manage police. So you're, you're basically saying, I want to focus on my national agenda, I'm going to ignore the event. Uh, you can restructure leadership, order training, increase funding or decrease funding. I think, um, oh, should we get police funding? Who's going to give us money? Who has money? Let's the try. Second, the Let's second try. one has increase, money? Increase police funding. So what happens in the Palestinian side of the picture is that we always need money to fund our actions. And when you look at those uh, different forces, a good idea is to get money from people who like you, right? right. So they're so, more on the positive side of trust. And, uh, so UN, right? Or... 
Or who's, no, 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 who's the next one? I mean, the, 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 I would go for Palestinian allies or the UN. All right, go there. Palestinian allies? Yeah, yeah. A week passes. Oh my God, no wait. Suzanne, we're going to stop here. I need help, you guys. Please, <laughs> I'm, I'm a sorry. terrible we're, leader. We're, we're running out of time. We're not going to solve the conflict in this session. I have no points on either side. We're not going to solve the conflict. However, however, obviously, you could, you could win this game, and this is the way we designed it. In a few hours of uh, failures, successes, failure successes. Um, I hope it was a good uh, glimpse into the power of video games and what they can do. But again, most of all, I want it to be a kind of a window to what media could be when it just, you know, you look at it differently. Thank you so much.